Hello, my H cuties. Where my ladies at? It's International Women's Day. Woohoo! So we're celebrating that awesome hormone called estrogen. Shout out to my mom for being my biggest female inspiration. Who are some of the women you guys admire the most? Let me know in the chat right now. Now, in honor of the occasion, Apple has released a list of its most streamed female artists of all time. Ariana Grande takes the top spot. I was just playing a female empowerment anthem. Break up with your girlfriend, I'm bored. Love you, Ari. I'm Sharon Carpenter, your international woman and queen of the quizzing. And season three of HQ is right around the corner. We've got some super exciting stuff in store for you, guaranteed. Tons of surprises and loads of points and money up for grabs coming very soon. Now tonight, of course, it's all about that cash, about that cash, yes it is, right now. You are playing for $5,000, just enough to snag a great gift for that phenomenal woman in your life or be greedy and spend it all on you instead, if you really have to. Extra lives are awesome. You can buy one right now if you see it on your screen. When you use an extra life, you can still play when you get a question wrong. If you play HQ five days in a row, you'll score a life for free. You can use it on any round aside from the final one. Okay, you know the rules already, don't you? This Sunday, you've been waiting for it. Winter is definitely here. HQ is bringing you Game of Thrones trivia. Who will end up on the Iron Throne? Will it be you? I hope so, but hopefully you don't get taken out by those savage white walkers. We've got 10 Gs up for grabs that night. It's a lot of cash happening Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. All right, it's time to channel that girl power, guys and gals. Are you ready? Because we're about to get to the quizzing. Yes, we are. Here we go with Q1. According to an old saying, what spoils the broth? Ghost peppers, too many cooks, lacks food safety. And nobody likes bad broth or bad breath. It's even worse. All three of these would spoil any dish, including broth, but according to the saying is too many cooks. Of course, too many cooks in that kitchen. 257,000 of you cooking something delicious up right there. The saying doesn't just apply to broth making. Too many of you are involved in overseeing any activity is sure to be completely, or is sure to completely ruin it every time. Q2, which kind of number is two? Whole, irrational, negative. You learned this when you were knee high to a grasshopper, but do you remember? You know, it was irrational for you to choose irrational here, don't you? No need to be negative. Two is a prime, even, and a whole number. 248,000 if you put two and two together. Whole numbers are full numbers without a fraction or decimal point, and they're always positive, like me. Q3, which of these is a citrus fruit? Plum, grapefruit, pear. We just talked about citrus fruits in yesterday's game, didn't we? Yesterday afternoon. Which fruit could it be? They sure are tasty, but you're not gonna get your daily dose of vitamin C from a pear. The pinker, the sweeter. You know we're talking about grapefruit here. 244,000 of you squeeze in that one. There are several ways to identify a citrus fruit. They're easy to peel. They're in segments, and they've got that extra zing to them. Like me, Q4. What object appears in the production logo that opens Pixar movies? Gear, apple, lamp. You've all seen a Pixar movie. If you haven't, you have not lived. Whatever your favorite Pixar movie, whether it's Toy Story, Finding Nemo, or Monsters, Inc., it started the exact same way, didn't it? Seeing the light here, it's a lamp. Yeah, there's a lamp in that introduction. 221,000 of you keeping it litty right here. This is no ordinary lamp, though. It's Luxo Junior, a spunky little adjustable table lamp that likes to squash letters. There he goes. All right, Q5, are you ready? Of course you are. Which of these cities is one of the big four fashion capitals? Los Angeles, London, Rome. Strike a pose, people. This is for the fashionistas to shine. If you tapped on LA, you just went out of style, I'm afraid. The fashion's going down in my part of town. It's London. 
London Town. Who's got the London look here? 157,000 of you do. And that was a pretty brutalish question right there. All four fashion capitals hold Fashion Week, one after the next. New York kicks things off, then London, Milan, and Paris. Here's your front row seat to Q6, up close and personal. Which of these Disney movies has characters named for bits of ship wreckage? The Little Mermaid, Finding Nemo, Lilo, and Stitch. Don't cause a wreck here on Q6. You need your one piece. Nobody wants to be named after a wreck, but these guys are. Floatsome and Jetsome were two vicious green eels in The Little Mermaid, remember them? Yeah, you do. Are you swimming on to the next round? 80,000 of you are. We lost about half of you, unfortunately. Floatsome and Jetsome are also terms for ship stuff that gets owned by the sea. Ocean debris, you might call it. Halfway already. Q7. Who was not British Prime Minister during World War II? Neville Chamberlain, Stanley Baldwin, Winston Churchill. How well do you know your British PMs? From war times. It was a tough war. It went through two different prime ministers. But this PM had his time before it even began. Stanley Baldwin we're talking about. No relation to Alec here. 55,028 of you nailed it. Winston Churchill was praised for his leadership during the war. Thankfully, he took over from Chamberlain, a.k.a. the Great Appeaser, he was known as. Q8. In Monopoly, which is not a way a player in jail can get out. Roll doubles, draw a card, pay a fine. Go straight to jail, don't pass go. We'll collect $200, no one wants to hear that, do they? It's the game that just keeps taking. If you're jailed, there are several ways to break free, but this ain't one. It's draw a card. You're not allowed to draw a card, are you? Did you play your cards right here? <laughs> Roll doubles, you know, that will get you out of jail. 31,000 of you playing your cards right. All right, nice job. Rolling doubles or paying a fine will get you out. Get out of jail free cards, could help. But you cannot draw cards behind bars. Bummer. Q9, which of these animals is an equine? Kiang, Cobb, Eland. Have you ever heard of any of these animals before? I sure haven't. Three barely known beasts, but which one likes to horse around? Competition for the Kardashians. It's the largest of the wild asses. The Kiang is what we're talking about here. 12,000 of you Kiangs and Kuyans got that right. I'm going to go with a savage question. Go on, Q9. 24,000 of you gone. 12,500 of you galloping onwards. And the Kiang is found in the Tibetan Plateau and apparently inspired the unicorn. The resemblance is obviously uncanny. Q10. Coming up, coming at ya right now. Which of these is an example of a synecdoche? I'm only human, single and looking, paper or plastic? It's a major key alert. Synecdoche alert. If you tapped on single and looking, you just got dumped with all that money in the bag tonight. It's paper or plastic, and you are after the paper tonight, aren't you? Lots and lots of paper, $5,000 of it. 3743 another savage question right here. 11,000 of you down. 3743 of you holding on tight. A synecdoche is a figure of speech where a part is used to mean a whole or vice versa. E.g., how many heads are still in this game? Hopefully with bodies attached, just a few of you. Use your extra lives if you can. Q11. Pastafarian prayers end in a word believed to be from what language of origin? Italian, Japanese, Mandarin. Okay. Do you really love food that much? Pastafarian. We're talking Pastafarian, not Rastafarian. These members of the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster end their prayers with one word. Not our men. But ramen is Mandarin. That's the language we are talking about here. And you are talking my language. That was another toughie. Uh, triple the savage. Let's do it. Triple the savage. 6,000 down. 1,671 of you made it 
through. Well done to you guys. Ramen means pulled noodles in Mandarin, and I'm pulling for you guys now because we are steaming into that final round with 1,671 of you still in the game. Another 700, almost 1,000 using extra lives to get back in. We've got $5,000 in the big bag tonight. Yes, we have. Good luck. It's Q12. Corsi and Fennec are specific types of statistics found in what sport? Ice hockey, equestrian, cricket. Sounds more like breeds of dogs to me. Sports would not be sports without the nerdy statistics and these were created to compute a player or a team's skills. Do you have the skills? Heard of the website Irreverent Oiler Fans? That's who's behind these stats. And where do you find the Oilers? The NHL is ice hockey for the win. We've got 488 winners. You smashed it. <laughs> That was an incredible game. Congratulations to our 488 winners from almost 300,000 players in the game to just 488 of you. You're taking home $10.25. We've got Jack Koch right there. Uh, Vanessa with a big grin on her face. Yeah, you should be happy right now. We've got Zen. We've got Jenny Reed. You read those questions well. Kimbo39, well done to all of you. $10.24. There's a lot you can do with that cash. Maybe pick up some flitsam and jetsam from the ocean, a nice juicy grapefruit and rider. Kiang, there's a lot you can do with that money. There really is. It's a nice chunk of change. Well done, HQTs. That was so awesome. You came, you played, you totally slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter. Here's where you can find me on the social. Stop by, say hi, and don't be shy. Words, of course, is up next. So stay tuned for that happening at 9.30. That is just a few minutes away. Don't go anywhere. Trivia back tomorrow night at 9 p.m. with lots more fun and games and cash. And I'll leave you with this quote from Eleanor Roosevelt. Well-behaved women rarely make history. So act up, ladies. It's Friday night. See you soon. Bye.